Hey guys, so for my birthday, my friend Kabocha sent this wonderful present. She sent me the Daniel Smith Essential Six Mixing Colors. So basically, you should be able to mix any color you want from these six colors. So um, it has a cool yellow, a warm yellow, a cool red, a warm red, a cool blue, a warm blue. So Hansa Yellow Light, New Gamboge, Pyrrole Scarlet, Quinacridone Rose, Thalo Blue and French Ultramarine, all in this really cute little cardboard box. But I'm going on a trip really soon and I don't necessarily want to take the whole tubes with me. So a while back, I'd picked up this little um, pill case from the Target do dollar spot. And oh, mm, let's see if I can fix this. Yeah, awesome. So the hinges are actually fairly fixable. That's good to know. Anyway, I picked up this little pill uh, container from Target. It seemed like just the right size for a pocket watercolor set. And it already has these six dividers, but these seem a little bit large for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take them out and I'm going to replace it with these little half pans that I got from Jerry's Artorama. And I could really just fill the whole thing, but I do want to try mixing with just six colors. I've always had a lot of convenience colors handy. The smallest set I've ever mixed with is a 12 piece set. So I want to try with the six. And I thought you guys might enjoy seeing how to easily make a pocket palette. So this little container, you could use an Altoids tin, you could use a mint tin, you could use, I mean, there's all sorts of little containers like this. This was less than probably $3. These were 60 cents each. And if you got them in bulk on eBay, you could probably get a cheaper price for little half pans. And it would be rude to look up the price of a gift. So I don't actually know. And I'm not going to pretend to know, but I will show it off to you guys and make you all terribly jealous. I mean, just look at how precious those are. They are super cute. You could honestly almost, almost fit you could fit, let's see, probably four, maybe five of those colors if you really wanted to bring full tubes with you. Almost would fit in that little container. It might fit in a full size um, Altoids container. But I am going to go ahead and put some in my half pans. And I'm squeezing from the back to make best use of the paint. So that's Hansa Yellow Light. New Gamboge. And you don't have to do this with Daniel Smith watercolors. I know it's tempting to, but you don't have to. You could actually do it with any tube watercolors, or even if you wanted to pick up pans open stock. And honestly, you could even just do dots on the inside of the container. Of course, if your container is red like that, it may affect how you perceive color. So I want to do something with the top of the lid that will um, I either want to glue something in that um, I can use as a mixing surface or I want to go spray paint it. So Pyrrole Scarlet. You also don't have to fill your pans all the way up. And I'm gonna let these dry. Really, you should let your, if you're, if you're going to fill your pans with tube watercolor, you really ought to let them dry for several days. Quinacridone Rose. Well, that's a lovely color. French Ultram, actually, I'm gonna do the cool influence one, Thalo Blue. So that would be more of a, you might think of it more as like a greenish blue. It's not really a green blue, there's no green in it, but it's not as warm as French Ultramarine. And again, French Ultramarine. All right, so I think I have some white spray paint. I'm gonna dig that up, go outside and spray the inside. I could just spray the whole thing, honestly, but spray the inside of the cap so that I have a nice optical white mixing surface that should make mixing colors a little bit easier.
So the spray paint I'm using is Rust Oleum's Painter's Touch. It's got the paint and the primer. It's in white. It's a flat white and you might really prefer a glossy white for something like this. That way it'd be less likely to stick to it, but I'm using what I have and it bonds to plastic. And if you don't want an area to be covered in white, you can use blue painter's tape to sort of mask it off, especially with these smaller containers. If you're using an Altoids tin though, you might want to use acrylics to paint something on your container. Unfortunately, I have that big red cross, so it's not gonna work quite the same if I wanted to paint. I'd have to get really creative. And for me, while I do enjoy decorative items, function is my first priority. So I want to make a pocket painting kit that works rather than a pocket painting kit that looks great, but I'm afraid to use it because it's beautiful and I spent all this time painting it. And I'm just not going to be too persnickety about it because I do want this to be a thing I use, not a thing I look at. So I'm not getting into all the cracks and crevices, but I am masking off the backs. That'll work. You could even put the tape going long ways. And I'm going to take this outside and spray the inside of it. So I'll come back after I've done that. All right, guys, so I sprayed the inside. It's actually raining outside. So this is probably gonna spray, I mean, dry lumpy. I can already see some bubbles in it. Um, uh, well, <laughs> not ideal, but I am stubborn, so I'm gonna persist. And uh, I'm going to let this dry overnight before I start putting in my paints. All right, guys, so my case has had a chance to dry overnight and I've assembled everything that I need. I've got my watercolors, which could probably dry a little bit more. I've got some washi tape. I've got a mini water brush that'll just about fit and a small sponge to clean my mini water brush off. So you can glue your pans in if you like, or you could even use magnets glued to the floor of your container and then glued to the bottoms of your pans. But I actually use just plain old washi tape in my regular palette. It does just a good enough job of holding the paint in, but not so good that I can't replace them later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape all of them to the bottom, folding my tape over like this. If you have double stick tape, that also works really well. I just so happen to be out. And I'm going to tape Oh, I'm not gonna have room for my, that's fine though. I'm going to tape a cool and a warm and go all the way across. All right, my six little pans are in. Plenty of room for my sponge. Maybe enough room for my water brush. So there we have it. A cute little travel palette that is pocket or purse size, even women's pocket size, which is unusual because nothing fits in those fakey fake pockets. Um, I will be painting with it while I'm out of town. So if you're interested in seeing what I've created, you can check out the blog because I do plan on re reviewing the six piece set. If you'd like to help fund my future adventures in uh, watercolor reviews and watercolor, you can head on over to my Patreon. For as low as $2 a month, you can join the community and gain access to early access videos and backer exclusives and help me make more videos like this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know there are plenty of tutorials on how to make pocket watercolor palettes, um, but I, I was going to make one anyway, so why not? do a little video about it. So thank you guys so much. Bye.